no one normally takes his calls. We, we talk to Doug on the weekdays. Well, he can call today. As a matter of fact, anybody can call well, us. We've even got William Taylor, our staff yeah. meteorologist on hand today. He's watching the weather. Doing a good job of it, too, William, keeping that rain away. Also, we appreciate William because he's also running the board for us today. That's it. He so William's, awesome. William's actually the only one working today. William's got a surprise coming Monday. He's got a surprise coming yeah, Monday? Yeah, William's got a paycheck coming. <laughs> oh, really? Wow, yeah. William's going to get paid Monday. Isn't that wonderful? Will I get paid, too? No. Oh, man. <laughs> You're out of luck. I got paid yesterday, but can I get paid again, please? No. <laughs> i tell you what. If you got barbecue, come on down here and bring us whatever it is that you have on the grill. Don't bring a whole bunch. Right. We want to try your we chicken just want to and your taste. and your hamburgers just... and your hot dogs. And don't forget the sides, too. We want the barbecue beans. We want the potato salad. I want the coleslaw. I want the whole bit. And we're going to give them one heck of a package. Yeah, if you win. Now, Mardi Gras That's Day. Right. Mardi Gras Day, we're going to choose a winner. Now, we're going we're gonna to write, we're going to mark down by your name the points that you score from each individual employee here at KTIB. And if you win Mardi Gras Day, the best barbecue in Thibodeau, you get four tickets. That's right. I'm giving them four tickets. Four to tickets to the Hornets game. game. A home game in New Orleans. That's road 10 right off of the goal line. So those yeah. are really, really excellent tickets. Great tickets. In fact, I'm thinking it might be the Sonics game coming up. That's, um, I've got something. I'm going to go find out who we've got coming. We'll find out who it is. And we also got shirts and hats. Yes, I do. I'm going to give them two hats and two t-shirts. I was throwing shirts and hats off the balcony a while ago. We'll People were really that. excited. I bet. 30 bucks a pop. Yeah, yeah. Expensive stuff and we can only get it from KTIB. That's right. Ain't nobody else gonna give it to you. And if, you, if you're hungry, if you're passing down uh, 2nd Street here and you're hungry, we'll throw you a ham sandwich or something. Look, <laughs> I'm gonna turn this back over to Jason. I've got some hot fried chicken that's getting cold. Well, you go take care of business. And coleslaw and potato salad. And look what Jason found. Yeah, William, can you hear me? Is it working? Is it working? Really? Yeah. I'm right. cranking. Fantastic. Hold the mic now. Fantastic. <laughs> you look like one of those uh, football guys. Yeah. That's Gene food. Richard. Yeah, hey, Gene Richard, I know you're listening. Jason just took your headset out of the studio. <laughs> Seen Gene this morning at Ross's, and uh, he was filling up on uh, Mardi Gras goodies. I'm sure he's, he's getting the juice together. He was getting something together. I'm not going to say what he was Where's getting the together. Juice? But uh, he's, he's supposed to be calling us sometime today. So. Yeah, he normally calls us when the parade rolls. Okay, we're well, good. Back off of Menard Street, and uh, he's going to let us know when it's fast in his area, so we don't have to worry too much about that. Fantastic. Well, well you're going to be what. seeing some great parades out here today. Of course, you know who our king is, right? No, I have not a clue. Nathan Richard. Nathan Richard. Yeah. And who is Nathan Richard? Nathan is Gene's nephew or cousin or something, of course. Somehow. Well, somehow everyone in Thibodeau's kin to Gene. But he used to uh, co-host Son the Bowl for uh, Johnny Jam. So wow. Wow. Of course. He's uh, a regular to the radio station as well. Well, we, we definitely uh, congratulate him on that. And, uh... We're just having a good old-fashioned time up here with the lovely Linda, Jason Lee, and uh, we got some special guests in the house. We, we meet. We Summer and Michelle here today. Summer and Michelle are here. I thought we had a baby running around. No, we don't have a baby running around. Baby running no, no, she's going to New Orleans for a birthday party today. Oh, that's sweet. Uh, William Taylor's also here. The whole staff is here, uh, except for a few people. Uh, we like to mention. Like Greg. Like Greg. And, well, they're out. No, Greg's honestly, working. Greg's you working. See um, who's that guy? Al Carter. <laughs> yeah, Al, Al's Al working. Al will be in a police car heading out yeah. with a parade. Home alive, Al Carter. More than likely, you'll find Greg on the back of a float. No, <laughs> actually, actually, I think Greg is in his car today as well. Is he in his car as yeah. well? 6.40 a.m. KTIB. We now go out to our balcony with Rock and Randall and Jason Lee as we continue updates today live on Mardi Gras 2005. Take it away, gentlemen. Thank you very much, William. And you know what? It actually turned out to be a very pretty day. It's a beautiful day, Jason. The sun has finally come out. It is warming up outside. It is a gorgeous day, and everyone really needs to come on by. I'm having a great time. I am, too. All these little kids running around throwing beads at them. If you got kids and you want to give them some beads before the parade shows up, walk by 108 Green Street right here at the KTIB balcony. Actually, the balcony where we were located is uh, the corner of Green Street, and West 2nd Street. That's the name of the street? West 2nd. All right. We're actually standing on West 2nd Street right now on the balcony, having a good time. Of course, William Taylor's here. He's looking at the weather, making sure that everything stays in line. William? Everything so far is staying in line. No rain in southeast Louisiana, and uh, probably shouldn't have any for the rest of the day. Uh, unfortunately, we'll have a little bit tomorrow. tomorrow. I don't want to hear that. 
but if we have no parades tomorrow, so we don't have to worry. But it's going it's, it's to stay beautiful today, right? Oh, yeah, you'll stay. The, the stratus clouds we had earlier is breaking off nicely now, so i.e. overcast. And we're trying to, sun's trying to break out now. It's actually gotten up into the 60s. A lot of people don't need jackets anymore, so uh, it's turned out pretty well. Of course, you have to forgive Jason, folks, if he sounds a little upset. He's very disappointed Vanessa couldn't come to the parade today. I know. I was hoping uh, she stopped by, but I never got to meet Vanessa. Yeah, well, unfortunately, you know, uh, she's got that uh, new job we told you all about, being the chief spokeswoman for the Mississippi Tourist Commission's RC and Moon Pie Appreciation Tour. So, wow. So it's a, it's a very taxing job, to say the least. So That's one hell of an honor, man. <laughs> I know. Well, like I said, unfortunately, <laughs> a lot of great stereotypes are involved of RCs and moon pies that need to be reinforced that, you know, politically correctness is ruined in the modern 21st century. You know, it's right up there with going eat lunch and dinner at the hardware store. So uh, she's, really proud of, she's really proud of her new job, and uh, so she's going to be pretty busy weekends throughout this calendar. Is she still going to be able to do the picks, though? Yeah, she's still, she's going to phone them in. Uh, she'll be coming back home, of course, during the week, you know, when she's doing her real estate job selling canal bottoms, so. I might have to buy me a piece of that canal bottom, man. Yeah, well, you remember now, the rumor is Governor Blanco may add that special tax on the sale of all canal bottoms since Vanessa and other people are doing so well selling them, so. Uh, <laughs> we'll see how it turns out in the future. But I tell you what, we got a lively crowd out here, don't yeah, we? Yeah, man, uh, it is It is a very lively crowd. The streets are starting to fill up. People are having fun. Let's see if we can get some noise out of you. Hey, guys, you're having fun! <laughs> and what happened to the weather? It is gorgeous out here, Linda. Well, it's a little bit overcast, so it's a little chillier than what we would like, but it's beautiful parade weather. Oh, for sure. Now, you're going to get sure. active. You're not going to be all hot and sweaty, at least, you know? We're sitting here watching Randall have a blast. You're throwing beads <laughs> off the balcony. <laughs> you would think, people, that we were in downtown New Orleans at the way they're going on up here. And it's a good, it's a nice-sized crowd. It is. Really nice. But I tell you, Linda, every time I come to Mardi Gras right up here, I get excited because the family atmosphere. Absolutely. I love the family you can't atmosphere. Beat, uh, family Mardi Gras in Thibodeau. You can bring the kids Put out. You don't Jason. really have to worry too much about them. They can have a good time. You can let loose. Well, that's the one thing that jumped out at me. And when I was in New Orleans, of course, I worked with the police department, so I knew the danger factor involved in it. Since I've been up here, I let my kids just enjoy themselves and have a blast i'm not stressing it i don't have them on the leashes uh, well, especially on the balcony well you better <laughs> have them on the leash i don't want them going over the balcony <laughs> of course approaching the kdiv studios two more of lafouche's finest and followed by the ed white the vanguard the vanguard that's right now this is an award-winning band vacation Jason is more excited than the three-year-old kids know, on the that's street. Right. <laughs> <laughs> the Vanguard, of course, travels all over um, the state and um, to different places across the country in competition. Really? They won many, many, many awards as far as outstanding band. Their drum line is spectacular. Oh, it's awesome. Awesome. Absolutely. <laughs> Eyes at you. 
got you now. Oh, I know. <laughs> Linda has her own dancer in the street in front of KTIB. went by Mel Levin in 18 minutes. He had to kill the other 42 minutes with talking to whoever he could find on the street. So goes to show you how interesting live uh, broadcasting can be. Well, Columbus was one of the fastest parades, and he's always one of the fastest parades. A few years back, they, Columbus decided to stop parading. We were out one night, and it was this incredible night, and we were doing a patrol. And we saw a group of guys, maybe 150 guys, walking down the street. They were all in evening's coats, being escorted by two police officers on horses. So I was like, who are these guys? And as they came down the street, they weren't throwing anything, but they would give you the balloons. And it was the mystic crew of Comus. They didn't parade publicly, but they actually at night would walk the road. That's right. Toast their queen at the Boston Club and then go to the Municipal Auditorium for their ball. Wow. It's pretty amazing. Of course, you know, for a long, long time, uh, Channel 6 would do the Rex Comus uh, beating of the courts. Right. And I remember uh, the gentleman, one of the engineers, Ch Paul Yachich, had said that all the years Gabe Batson hosted it, mostly with Ann Merrick, every year you knew exactly what Gabe Batson would say because he kept the same script for over 20 years. And after a while, it was almost like, well, is he going to change one word? And he never would. No, absolutely not. You now, I'll tell you what. Like that. that, the, the meeting of the court, Every time I would hear the song, If Ever I Would Cease to Love, would draw a tear in my eye. Really? If it ever I would cease to... I remember the words. Do we have it? We should have it, huh? Maybe somewhere. I'm not, I'm not sure if we have it on file, but... Look, it's heard it Nathan. countless amount of times. And, uh, just We've got our story. king in the middle uh, of the street dancing. Look. Look at our king. Is that, that's the king? Shard, yeah. we were going to go into that. I don't even know Jose Feliciano, but anyway. <laughs> but what happened, the plane was the plane. That's Welcome to Fantasy Island. That's Herve Villa Chase. Okay. <laughs> but what happened, um, they kind of thought we'd go into an El Nino pattern this year because out in the, Pacific, the, the equatorial Pacific, waters were about half a degree centigrade above normal. But the problem was not every climate office in the world thought we would get into that pattern where we'd stay cooler than normal but wetter than normal. 
Uh, so, so far, now normally if we had a real El Nino, it would start in October. Right. And it hasn't really kicked in, or if it will at all, because normally we'd, we would have gotten a lot of rain starting in October, like we did in 2002, and then again in 97. That really hasn't happened. So if we have one, it looks like it's going to be rather weak, and normally they would, they would uh, fizz out in the spring anyway. As part of just the general cycle, the Earth's gone through for thousands of years. Well, so. William, normally with having Mardi Gras in early February, it's cold. Uh -huh. This year, and I don't know if it's just me or, or maybe everybody believes this too, but we've had an extremely warm winter. Even though we had snow for Christmas, uh -huh. that was one isolated time yeah. that it was cold, it's really been warm. Yeah, it's been above normal going back to the second half of the fall. And, uh, you know, that's, but yet you go to the northeast, they've had record blizzards. Europe, I understand, has had a snowfall, record snowfall since 1947. Good uh, it just depends where, where you are on the globe because... All right, we begin to roll. I wanted to let y'all know if we get really pelted at one point, it's because three of my sisters and my father is going to be on one of the uh -oh. I know. They neglected to tell me which number, though. So, which side? Uh, they didn't tell me that either. In New Orleans, we used to call it either the sidewalk side or the neutral ground side. That makes sense. That makes sense. Or the driver's side or the passenger side? The driver side. the passenger side. And we always want to stand next to somebody who knew somebody on the float. And they would pelt you continuously. Folks, the parade is just starting. Get on down to Green Street. It's not too late. You can enjoy it. This is awesome. The lead units are just turning back onto St. Mary Street. They'll be making a left-hand turn onto Jackson Street, continuing back up to Canal, making a U-turn, going back to 7th to Menard, back and winding up back at Nichols State University. We got a long parade route, folks. Get out and have a blast today. Now, float number three is entitled Miracle on 34th Street. And look at Santa Claus. Santa Claus is in the front holding his extra wide girth. A big stick. Keep you guys in line. I was about yeah. to say that. We get out of line, she can go ahead and poke us. Oh, my. Abby Thibodeau, Mr. Lafouche. What's that, 55th? LV? Yeah. What's LV? 55. 55, all right. She looks kind of young for 55. Really? <laughs> hey, float number four is entitled Disney Sun Wheel. With a beautiful smiling sun grinning at us. And as it passes, the sun is peeking his eyes, looking at Absolutely. his float. Absolutely. These floats are all double deckers, as I wanted to let you uh, good people know. There's tons and tons of floats come. They're not stingy, and that's what I no. like about these home uh, Thibodeau parades. That's true. That's true. They are not stingy. They really throw quite a bit of uh, throws, tops, bees, you name it, it's coming at us. They felt constantly pelting. That's Miss Homer. Yep. And Miss Thibodeau. Beautiful young ladies. And little Miss Thibodeau. Hello, little Miss Thibodeau. How are you? She's got that wave down. She has the wave. Look. She has the wave. <laughs> I'm getting bombed. I don't 
<laughs> These folks are giving folks, man, I tell you what. Hit the station. Yes, we do. We've got 45. That's we've right. Got LPs. We got everything still here. Bring it way back. I don't like to, to make change. You know, I want to keep some of that historic. That's good right. That's right. Stuff right here. That's what's called old and six forty. Go, we're old, and that's fine. That's fine. That's fine. Because something about the oldie music that relaxes you. Oh, it brings it. you back. It brings you back. I know my son told me the other day he was listening to some of the music, and he said, y'all had good music back then. No kidding. I said, it was words. Really? It was a melody. You could understand it. You could understand you could it. To it. You could dance to it. You could, and you could actually I apply it. It's today's stuff. You jump it all around like you're lost. Really? So you can't do love. No. Some of this, they don't sing. They don't sing. They scream. Ah! That's not singing. <laughs> Miss Ray, I got a question for you, man. I got. What do y'all do with all these beads after you're done with them, man? You throw them at me. What you gonna do? What, what I do with them? You have to wear them. Oh man, I got much on me right now, but I ain't got enough neck to wear all these beads. 
I don't think oh, my kids got enough neck with all these beads. Ricky. Ricky. Brandine's got a lot of neck. <laughs> Brandine can wear them. I'm gonna try to catch some big beads from Brandine. <laughs> Number seven. Seven new line, the dragon. <laughs> Man, he almost took out my left ear, and I need that my hurting ear. <laughs> he can't throw him back. <laughs> the excitement is catching him and wearing him continuously, at least for six months. Oh, my. That's what's <laughs> fun. I'm going to tell you. They pick you out that crowd, man. They come and right They get at that. They point at you. When you get pointed at, <laughs> you, you better get ready. Ball. You better get ready. <laughs> Oh, look at Snow White. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Number eight. That's what, Cool Van Berger made, Sean Salmoning. She's Snow White. She's adorable. Thank you. Okay, float eight, entitled Hercules. Hercules, 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 Hercules. Have you noticed when they realize who we are, they're like, oh, they got to try like, oh, my goodness. to get this stuff. Grab something quick, it's KTIB. 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 Boy, T-Top was at a... Now that is gorgeous. <laughs> that, oh, I love that outfit. Isn't that pretty? Oh, man, Annabellum. Four, Beautiful. five, and layered. Christmas. Ivory lace. Oh, man. Oh, that's pretty. That is pretty. What's that, Ricky? Mr. Ryan, how many more of these plays y'all got, man? Because my pockets get all full of bees, man. So where's, where's your money, Ricky? What money? You, you dropped your money for the beads? Yeah. You told me I need to get, I need, you told me for we're on the air, I need to catch as many bees as I could, so I emptied out all my pockets, man. Even your money? Yes, even my money. That means you have to spend the night with Randall. Uh, oh, yeah, man. That's going to be a good old time right there. Maybe feed my kids for me. Uh, just approaching his <laughs> low West Thibodeau Middle School band and dance team. These kids you know, practice they, all year long. That's, what just, I was that's right. To say. They practice all year long just for these Mardi Gras parades. That's right. That's right. And they're so proud of their uniforms. They're proud of, of everything they do. They should be. Do you realize how much discipline goes into these bands? That's it. Yes, indeed. It's amazing. And they also say that the students that uh, participate in band do much more in academics. Their grades are so much higher, especially their math grades. That's it. This kid's drums are bigger than him. I'm telling you. It's good, though. That would be kind of hard, huh? <laughs> it's kind of bad when you're three foot tall, your drums are five feet wide. That's what I'm saying. He's, his kid was massive. But he's doing a good job of playing them. I That's give him cool. credit for it. I couldn't imagine walking and carrying those things all this way. My, I, I don't think my back, I don't think my back could take it anymore. When I was young, I could probably get away with it. But as I've gotten older, it's slightly changed. Float number nine, titled Harry Potter. Wow. The Sorcerer's Stone. Romance in the Stone. No, Romance in the Stone, no. Well, that wasn't Harry no. Potter. <laughs> Something to do with a stone or a rock, I don't know. The ring, yeah. Okay. Oh, the ring. No. You want the ring? It's Lord of the Ring. <laughs> it's either Lord of the Ring. Harry Potter is a separate, a separate entity altogether. But it's well, that, not that, romancing the stone either. Well, that shows you how much I really watch those young movies, huh? <laughs> Thing I've noticed, it's kind of weird, and I don't know if they're 
program this way for every It sure is. <laughs> it's like they set up a programming list, you know, when they leave Nickel State, that this is the songs we're going to play. And as they're passing us, they're all hitting the same song. It's all computerized stuff now. Uh, what is this? This is Mariachi. Number 10 is entitled World Showcase Across the Board. Really shocked, no folks play Glen Campbell music. Mm. I'm not. World Showcase across the border for these two very, two very large maracas by two very large speakers. Yeah. Hey, how y'all doing? <coughs> we are ducking for our very souls and lives. <laughs> I mean, look, look at, what year is that car, Randall? I don't know. That's a Cadillac, huh? No. That must be a 60-something Fire Red like Impala. A seven Chevy. Man, that is sweet. That's a classic, man. Oh, oh, for sure, for sure. And of course, that's him. Oh, look, he is. You're oh, out oh, yeah. making love. Sure. What are we catching? T-shirts? Awesome. Relay for life. Oh, that's yeah. nice. Yeah. Throwing T-shirts out on this float for Relay for Life. Making love with your old lady when you huh? making love. <laughs> We can send that message out to somebody. And look, and I don't even drink, so you know I must be having a good time. Woo! Hey, Mardi Gras! Wow, was that a catch? Look, Al, I got some more long white pearls. Man, I got an America, America, oh, oh, America, America flag. Yes. Visiting St. John Volunteer Fire Department, the uh, fire support unit. Oh, now this is too cute. Oh. This is too cute. That's I probably the only way. Off-cut world. Look, it's so cute. That's probably the only way I'll be able to afford a Hummer. <laughs> yeah, you're right. <laughs> it's actually a four-wheeler converted to look like a Hummer. Dodge Ram. These are really neat. You, buy a you can afford one like that. I get a ram now. $3,000. That's all? That's not bad. Uh, no, that's not bad. That's a four-wheel drive go-kart. Do y'all have those where you no, come from? No, man, I'm a one million. Well, you know, you have to take enough beads, at least five million beads, to buy one. Hey. I, I got 27 so far. <laughs> and it hurt here. That's T.V. Herman's song, huh? Yeah. Ooh. You gotta be very, if you're on the balcony, you have to pay attention very closely. Absolutely. You cannot turn your head away for even a moment. Hey, these guys are gonna be in for a shock because I didn't tell them that once they uh, finish partying up here, they've gotta clean it up. <laughs> <laughs> and it is a mess. Oh, Caddyshack. Tequila. Little Mermaid. Okay. Hey. Whoa. William is being pelted. Poor William, they like his weather report for the day. My family didn't like me, but <laughs> the way they throw. They attack him. Yeah. I say, I don't think there's any other place to be during Mardi Gras than right off of Green Street in front of KTIB Studios. You're guaranteed to catch stuff. What? Hey, William? Yeah. Did you know them people? Because, man, <laughs> they were throwing some stuff at you. Yeah. You still here? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Yeah, that's that's my family. They've all, oh, okay. they've treated me Look. like that ever since I drank Woolite at age three. It's I don't know exactly. It's, well, William, I'm gonna get some of those beasts to Ricky Gopher because you must have gotten like three bags thrown right at you. Exactly. That means they like you, right? Yeah, I mean, they must. I Isn't assume. that they wanted to take his head off? <laughs> you know, of course, they all could be jealous of Vanessa, too. You forgot about that. Oh, yeah. Where's That's, Vanessa? Well, if you didn't hear, she, uh, she can't be here because of her new job. On weekends, she's now the spokeswoman for the uh, Greater Mississippi Tourist Commission RC and Moon Pie Appreciation Tour. Oh, my. Does she get free moon pies? Uh, yeah. Really? Yeah. She may send, send some down when she comes back. Oh, wow, man, that's so cool. I think she's in Osceola County this weekend, so it'll be a whole lot of fun. Well, I tell you what, I'm glad the sun's peeking out a little bit more than uh, earlier. So, uh, folks coming out today, uh, well, William, uh, pleasant weather. I mean, if y'all got married, at least you know you'd have moon pies for dinner. And R.C. Right. Can't, which oh, is, what a oh, which man. Which is the nutritional staple of Mississippi. A lot of people That's forget right. that. So, it's, uh, number 13 is approaching. Three it looks like we got another uh, boat coming up. The Three Caballeros, based on the great Walt Disney film of the early 60s. have a Viking on the front? That's a good question. A, Sp a Spanish movie with a Viking on the front. Maybe it was one in Michael Moore films. I don't know. It's obviously it's symbolism against George Bush and the uh, the way the poor people in Iraq are being treated. I think that must be the thing. I think that's the call. Okay. Wow. Miss Cutoff. You and, said, uh, uh, let's take a look here. Queen? 33rd, Nicole Lee Leonard. Nicole Lee Leonard, Miss Cutoff Youth Center, Hurricane. Now, wait a minute. Now, is that the way to drive a Jeep or what? You put it on the back of a flatbed and you tow it? Why? Maybe that's the <laughs> Jeep's broke? Boy, that, that, I think that's Can the greatest Miss question Kibido, of the Katie break. Adams, got our call, and Denise Adams. Now, that's the way to do it. Adam Jr. and Miss Thibodeau aboard that float. <laughs> we definitely have a wide plethora of talent out here today, to say the least. Number 14, France of Epcot. You dropped the bomb on, baby. You dropped the bomb on me. France and Epcot. It's okay. The bomb <laughs> what did they lose? Somebody dropped something. Something dropped, dropped, dropped the bomb on somebody. No, they lost their drawers. That's what they said. That's not a good thing, especially since it's so close. 2004 Christmas Queen, Case oh. Cassidy Rodriguez. Isn't she cute? They're so cute. And that's what Carnival is about for the kids, for the families. This is such a family-oriented event. It's such a family-oriented community. This is... My heart is such, Linda. I'm telling you. Look at the kids. They're so cute. They're getting the excited. sweet. He's throwing all these pro his beads out. Giving them to the little ones. Yes. Not my panties, though. <laughs> you gonna wear those? I might. <laughs> what size are they, Randy? 
Not my size. But that's that's not your size, size either, brother Al. <laughs> no, no, definitely not my size. They I think if they'd have thrown this out of the car, the wind should be flying somewhere. My wife says they may be her size. And that was very embarrassing to be saying that, Randy. They're little she bitty. She slapped me. <laughs> <laughs> no comment. No comment. She's well, she, a button. She's adorable. You didn't introduce me to your wife, Randy. Sorry, Brother Al. This is Summer. Summer, this is Brother Al. Hello, Summer. How are you? Someone looks like a breath of springtime, Randall. Is there a sister named Spring and a brother named Paul? We okay? That's true. Only Randall drinks a lot when he falls. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this is... Well, there's no title on this boat. So we'll name it... In Baghdad. Another laptop, Linda. I got all them biggins. They, got they, the they biggins. throw in the biggins. Oh, you got the biggins. I got big balls. See them? Look how big. Another Miss Thibodeau. That's a little bitty car, huh? Big man of a dog. Sheriff's Department to wind up the parade. I think that's it. This is the last float just passes by. The Sheriff's Office pulling up at the rear, making sure everything is safe and clear. And folks, it's still beautiful weather. The parade still has a long way to go. We encourage you to go ahead and grab a part of this parade further down. The weather is gorgeous. Um, William is saying that it's going to be gorgeous for a while for the rest of this ride, right? For the rest of today, uh, I know Shaka is also running in Thibodeau, although they're taking, I believe, a, a route away from us. I don't think they're coming by our review. That's right. No. But, uh, yeah, the weather will be nice for the rest of the today. We may get some rain. Tomorrow, Tuesday, and the Wednesday morning, we're ahead of our next front. But for now, Thursday through next weekend looks dry. Okay. And hopefully okay. that pans out. Maybe a little bit of rain on Lundy Grove. But, yeah, it looks like a lot of people are now um, winding things up. Goodness, we got a lot of stuff just here on the balcony. We've got, we've got cleaning to do on the balcony. We have... I don't think anybody has enough net. For we, have, we have copious amounts of beads yeah. and a wide plethora too so oh man we got copious and plethora in the same conversation cornucopia <laughs> and cornucopia in the same conversation man is that related to is that related to cream of corn I, uh, mm. Mm. been watching too many uh, jack benny reruns i guess i don't know but well folks this has been an awesome time we've enjoyed it uh, we're going to be back here again on next week uh, for the parades. We want you to be a part of this. Come on out here. Uh, come on around Green Street if you want to come holler at us, wave at us. We've got beads. We're going to give it to you. Um, uh, KTIB has an awesome time doing carnival. We want you to be a part of it. And we will be here so we can make sure that the weather is perfect. If there's any rain, uh, we will go ahead and do whatever he needs to do with the computers to make the rain go other places. Yeah, like my ex-mother-in-law's house. That'd be pretty <laughs> nice. So, <laughs> Who looks like Shamu? That's right. <laughs> either, th either that or Abdullah the Butcher. I'm not sure. Oh. Anybody remembers classic wrestling? Well, I guess what we're going to do next, we're going to go ahead and put some of the music back on. Okay. We've got the regular programming. But we got to thank everybody here at KTIB for, you know, uh, we just got an incredible cast on and off the oh, air that helped sure, us out sure. with everything. And uh, especially Randall here, who just adds a lot of personality to our shows. Do what? <laughs> <laughs> you know, next Sunday, Sister Agatha's thinking about making a stop. She's going to be coming over? She was going to come today, but she had something going on in New Orleans. I don't know what was going on, but I think she's going to come next Sunday for the Cleophus. Something, I think something to do with turkey necks and bones and little gree gree. I don't know what she's doing, man. I'm, I'm frightened by that woman, man. She's a big woman. 
Mm -hmm. Sister Agatha may be here next Sunday. That look, that would be awesome. Now I'm going to be in a parade on next Sunday, so I'll be talking to y'all from the car as we roll through the streets of downtown Thibodeau. Well, ladies and gentlemen, thanks for tuning in. Like William said, we're going to go back to Great Swamp Pop and Zydeco music, and uh, don't forget tune in tomorrow. We got uh, Monday mornings uh, dialogue, and then after that is uh, some oldies. That's right. 11 to 2 is the Rock and Randall Swamp Pop Show, and uh, we got a lot of great things going on. So uh, until tomorrow morning, it's Rock and Randall signing off. God bless all you Swamp Pop fans out there. Yeah! Well, look who's here. Howdy, everybody. It's Ricky Gopher. Ricky Gopher here. Hey, how you doing, baby, Mr. Rock and Randall? I'm doing pretty good, Ricky. How you, man? Man, I'm having a good old time down here, too. I'm mad about all sorts of my kids, and they just run around like, look, I'm just mad to run around the street, got beat and stuff. Well, it's that duct tape for in your hands. This duct tape, see, I got an idea, it's a new invention, right? Because I was thinking, how can I get my kids to catch more beads, right? All right. So I'm just going to wrap their arms up and go beside duct tape. So then they just start waving their arms, they can catch more beads. Yeah, I got you, man. You are a genius. That's a good idea right there. I tell you what. And I got my fish net ready. Man, we're going to have us a good old time. What are you going to do with a fish net? I'm going to catch some beads. Look, she's got potato chips down here. The barbecue chips. It's not the right kind, though. I, I like, I like, uh, what's some people called? Who are you talking Zaps. about? Zaps. Zaps. I had some Zaps one time. There were some good chips right there. Some good what? There were some good chips. Chips. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought you said something else, man. I was about to have to fire you. <laughs> anyway, Rockin' Randall, Ricky Gopher, Jason Lee. Ooh, having us a good old time, Tim and Oak. The whole KTIB crew is out here. Linda on the way, Johnny on the way. Stick around, great music for you. Got time to take, got time to take two naps. Jason, have to go and let me in the front door. Oh, it's the foreign guy. The foreign guy is here. Hello, everybody. I'm having a wonderful time in Tibido, catching all the beads. Didn't I tell Jason to lock that door? <laughs> oh, well. I am so happy that you let me in because now I find place to pee. We have no public restroom, sorry. That is so cold and heartless. When you come to my country, I will get even with you. You will, huh? I will get even with you. Even? Yes, I will get even. How can you be even? You're only two and a half feet tall. <laughs> How high are you shorter than me? <laughs> Fun guy, did you catch a lot of beads? Yes, I have been catching many, many beads. How many times did you catch a parade today? I have caught it 17 times. 17 times. How? Every street it passes. How are you doing that? Running a lot. <laughs> Well, I'll tell you what, fine guy, thanks for coming out here. In a little bit, Sister Agatha's going to be here, so uh, stay tuned for great Swamp Pop, Zydeco, and Mardi Gras music right here with Rock and Randall. And the lovely Linda. Ooh. And my good buddy. Thank you all. I am having a wonderful time. I am the foreign guy. This is a blast here in Thibodeau. And Jason Lee, of course, we're all broadcasting live from the balcony right here on West 2nd Street on KTIV, Oldies 640. Good fun, great oldies. Al Carter. Hey, how y'all doing? I just wanted to tell y'all I'm with y'all. You said you wish I was here. I am here. We miss you, Al. I miss y'all, too. We are, look, we're having an awesome time. It's perfect weather. Man, I say y'all doing a wonderful job. I'm listening to y'all on the radio, and I am really enjoying this ride because of KCIB. Yeah, there's my buddy Al. Of course, when, <laughs> when Unit 145 passes, everybody, say hi to Al, okay? That's Al from Al Carter Live on KTIB on Tuesdays and Thursdays here at 8 o'clock. This crowd looks really good out here, y'all. Well, you better get out. Yay! Yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's Al Carter. Y'all having a good time? We're having a great time. Well, I'm a great so I can let the parade pass. <laughs> he's got to get moving. He said he's got to let that parade pass. Okay. We have the Thibodeau High School Junior ROTC passing in front of us. Of course, that's your color guard. 
think I'm going to take Al's place. You're going to take Al's place today? I can hear me anyway. That's a hard what spot to fill. Hey, William, can you turn us up a little bit, man? This is uh, Edie White Cardinals right here. It's the Vanguard. They have put in a lot of work this year. These kids practice every day. Oh, thank you, Jason. Man, he has one line. Still some gentlemen in the... Oh, Mike, I'm so sorry. Linda's taking my microphone. She doesn't even realize it. Jason just brought me his chair. You hear that drum line? Oh, absolutely. I just love a drum line. Okay, William, turn the sun back on. Turn the sun back on, huh? <laughs> no. He lost the knobs. <laughs> I lost all my knobs. Please tell me we don't have any rain in the forecast for the next couple of hours. Well, so far it looks okay. Uh, we got these low cloud decks that's still trying to filter in a little bit, but uh, so far the rain has held off, and uh, hopefully it'll stay that way. If things have ho been holding the course, so uh, I really don't have any worries much in that regard. What do we have coming up for Monday? Someone's stepping on my tail. Well, they still keep the rain chances up around, I think, 60% tomorrow, around 40% Tuesday. Uh, it's just a matter of when the disturbances are out of the southwest are going to ride through the area. Now, you know some work went into this. Yeah, that's, a, that's an it's awesome place. It's actually the shape of a, uh, of a pirate ship. It's got the mass up there. there. Oh, yeah. Cannon sticking out of the sides. Wow. It's amazing the craftsmanship that goes into these floats, and you only see them once a year. That's right. And Happy Mardi Gras from KTIB, guys. You know, they got really got smart. They put roofs on these floats. Yeah, yeah. Okay. So even if it rains, Starts to get a little wet. Protected. Miss uh, Team Miss Lefouche, Morgan Eber. Passing us by in, in a buggy. I don't know what kind of car that is. I'll take it. I'll, ta I'll definitely take it, definitely. Next is uh, How the West Was Won, float number 12. I'm doing a cowboy style over here, Linda. Where's Ricky Gopher? That's Ricky Gopher's folk there. <laughs> how, how the West Was Won. I tell you what, man, the West was born, I tell you how the West was born. The West was born with indoor plumbing. <laughs> That's why Alabama is not part of the West, because it has yet to be won. <laughs> one day I'm going to get our fans to get indoor plumbing like everybody else. It's going to be a great time, man. You should come on, man. You're going to have a good old time. What, what's that woman of yours' name? Brandine. Brandine? Yep, Brandine. Why are they named her Brandine? Huh? Well, there's only a couple of names in Gopher County, and Brandy was one of them. Oh, my. Road number 12. Her name is Geraldine. Well, yeah, they got a lot, so we can remember it. Rock and rain on my me a great old time. I'm going to go catch some more bees now. Yeah, thanks, Ricky Gopher. Happy Mardi Gras to you, folks. Happy Mardi Gras. How the rest was won. He missed. Floor number 13. Vikings. It looks like some Vikings to me, right? Wow. We got some horns. You know, I can't say what I wanted to say. I <laughs> think <laughs> This guy's got a bunch of horns. So <laughs> Happy Mardi Gras from KTIB, folks. That's a shame. I love your country so much. I love this country. I just stand here and people throw beads at me. This is wonderful. Wonderful. How in the world did you get an American He's got flag? patriotic beads. Because I have, pretty, I have pretty, pretty girlfriend who smiles. Wait a minute. I thought you had a pretty, pretty wife. Well, 
You've adapted some of the American culture, haven't you? She's on the other side of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> if it's a different continent, it's okay. <laughs> oh. Man, we getting in trouble over here, huh? Road number 20. The now we know what the car guys went up to. The Rolling 20s right here for number 20. Hey, thank you. Okay. Happy Mardi Gras from KCIV. Now next, we got uh, something maybe Australian or... Australian float coming, huh? Float number 21. Out back. Hmm, sounds like a good restaurant to me. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go. Huh? Let's go. Let's go. Float number 21, this is out back. Trail. Trail. Outback okay. Trail. And it does look like the Outback. Very, very nice. Great work, guys. Hey, happy Mardi Gras from KTIV, folks. Okay, that's it for us. Linda, I had a great time. I sure did, too. And I tell you what, we'll be back here on Tuesday, Mardi Gras Day. Tomorrow. Tomorrow. No, well, from the balcony. Tomorrow we'll be broadcasting live from the Royal Sinestro on Bourbon from 3 till whenever we decide to get off the air. But we'll be doing Louisiana Live Afternoon Drive. With Christopher Goodmore. And then we'll be back on Tuesday with the crew of Ghana. So it's at 10 in the morning. At 10 in the morning and the crew of... Haven't got a crew. This is my old drummer on that flute. Oh, wow. Baron Soup's uh, band director of Gessohan High School. So, ladies and gentlemen, that's going to wrap it that's up. That's it. Us. Happy Mardi Gras from all of us right here at KTIV. We'll be back with you tomorrow and again on Tuesday for full coverage of Mardi Gras Day 2005 from downtown Thibodeau. I'm Linda along with Rock and Randall saying, have a great day. Drive carefully, please. Yeah. <laughs> Only 640 KTIB, you're on live. Who's this? This is Nash Roberts. Who do you think this is? <laughs> is it you, Elvis? <laughs> Almost. Okay, meteorologist William Taylor going to tell you more about the precipitation that is, that is called love by the Reverend Al Carter. What do you think about this love falling from the sky, William? Oh, by the way, Jason will tell you, some people mistake me for Mr. Wrestling, too. So, Well, anyway... We, uh, yeah, it, it dumped on the west side, uh, uh, the western outskirts of Thibodeau this morning. A small trough of low pressure was parked uh, literally right on that side of Lafouche. And we, that love Al talked about, well, that love almost drowned me this morning. It was really overwhelming. Uh, we probably got a good half an inch of rain or so you out of that. You forgot your floaties? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> you forgot your floaties this morning, William? Yeah, almost. Uh, but I've been known to forget other things in life, so I'm used to it. But uh, so what's happening is the northern end of that trough has now moved into interior Mississippi around Pearl River. But the southern end of it is literally hanging over North Lafouche, just north and west of Thibodeau, down towards Morgan City and out to the Gulf. What made the rain so heavy this morning on the west side of town was a little upper disturbance moving west to east ran into that boundary, and that's what flared up the rain we had. I caught a little bit of that love on my way in from Morgan City, man. Yeah, and right now it's still raining on the people of Morgan City. The rain that was over the west side of Thibodeau has alleviated a little bit. Now some of the concentrations are in southern St. James Parish and southern St. John Parish into northwest St. Charles Parish. That's moving away from Thibodeau. Uh, there's still a small batch across, I'd say, the eastern half of St. Mary Parish right along the border with lower St. Martin. That's continuing to move to the northeast. Now, if it keeps moving like that and doesn't redevelop eastward, uh, Thibodeau will be in a, br in a bit of a break for now. If anybody's listening to us in Homa, they haven't had a drop of rain. So the Homa parades, at least for the beginning, looks like they're going to be okay. Well, I know we're going to have, it's going to be a little slippery out here. As a matter of fact, uh, I was telling everyone earlier on the balcony to please be careful that they don't slip it because we have some moisture out here. It doesn't well, look like anything uh, too bad. Well, well, like I said, what we had this morning, we, it was just bad timing because well, I, I was trying to do work uh, 
that bothers business place, and we just was, was getting dumped on like crazy. But as always, as soon as we stop, that's when the rain lets up. As uh, Gene Richard says, the flag on the flagpole at the courthouse is standing still. It's not well, moving. I want to also let everybody know where it's not raining, we've had uh, quite a bit of fog out there. Yes, yes. The low stratus deck in some locations, but in some cases it is reaching the ground, and the visibilities aren't too good in some locations. So people driving to parades uh, may need to take it easy for a while, put on your low-beam headlights, because uh, in some locations, especially where the rain has just ended, uh, it's, it's easily a thick as pea soup with maybe visibility less than two miles. So right. in those locations, folks uh, need, need to be a little bit careful. But right now, there's a break in the rain over Thibodeau. I'll be monitoring this throughout the morning and uh, into the afternoon if necessary. But what I'm hoping is, as this disturbance leaves our area, maybe by noon, this rain will slacken off, and then maybe we won't have as much of a threat for the afternoon parade of Thibodeau. Okay, so that's your weather. What about sports? Do you have a, uh, a little summary of uh, last night's sports for us? No, no, we were actually, what I did, uh, I didn't realize none of y'all were up at, at 6 this morning at the station, so I went into the station and I did a complete weather and sports report at 6.30. Okay. So we got everything out the way that needed to be stated. And um, like I said, I'm just hoping for the best today um, with the weather situation. It's not the worst Mardi Gras weather-wise we've ever had, but it's definitely going to be one of the slickest that we've had in terms of ground conditions. Okay, what's the uh, worst weather we've had in history for Mardi Gras? Wow, I do know back in 1983, some parts of our area got three inches of rain on Mardi Gras That's Day. Some stuff. And we've had some very cold days. I think uh, the coldest Mardi Gras, darn, I keep thinking it was around 1911 or something like that, where it only got up to 37 or something like that. Now, I'll take cold weather if it's dry. And it's like someone said, it's one thing if it's raining today, just as long as it's not cold and wet. That, that's really a double whammy right there. Okay. So, so anyway, folks, to be on the safe side, take your umbrellas with you if you go into the Thibodeau Parade. You may need it. Uh, you probably won't need it as much in Homa. Like I said, the, this little uh, moisture boundary is not even close. So Homa's probably going to get at least their first parade off with no problem. Okay. Uh, and uh, if necessary, I'll check back in with y'all later today. All right, William, thanks for the forecast, and uh, I'm sure William will be updating us periodically today. William, you have a great day and a happy Mardi Gras to you. Well, thank you. So long. All right. Meteorologist William J. Rock.